Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here with a LB Aventador. This is not quite fully Max. It's missing some stage sixes, but it's good enough and representative enough that I can show you Tempest 3 tier 5 settings and tunes, minus the two stage sixes that I don't have, of course. Um, I'm going to show you all different ways of getting through. The only weakness to this car really is it doesn't run under 9 without stage 6's. However, it runs pretty close to it at 9.3 something with stage 5 only. So if you have at least one or two stage 6's that'll push the time through, you're good to go. I don't really care which two you have. They all work and they're all going to help you. But you don't need any of them, at least for most of the challenges up to the end there. Um, the only thing you really need stage 6 possibly for is to make the final time. Okay, now, let's talk about no stage 6 hitting that initial uh, cutoff of 685 performance point. What I do is I actually lower tire grip to stage 3, transmission to stage 4, everything else stage 5. Now, you can alternate this design by using certain stage 6s and lowering uh, something like tire to nothing. Uh, that's up to you. But tire actually adds a lot of performance points, so lowering it gives you a nice performance point drop. What lowering tire doesn't do is it doesn't really kill your 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 that much. That is where people think this car is really weak, uh, is that it doesn't do good in 0 to 100. But guess what? I'm starting off at a 2.8 and I can beat that uh, by tuning as well. This is a tune that is optimizing performance, which incidentally, it's going to stay at 53. You can already do 9.9. .9. That's much, much faster than any time you need to run. So you need to hit 220 miles per hour in the half mile. Well, this is a 343 mile per hour car. So the only thing you really need to hit is the 3.562 0 to 100 challenge at this performance point level, which is also apparently very easy to do. Can you do much better than what's there? Yes. All you have to do is put the gearing to fourth gear to top out at 100. You can see it dropped the time substantially, and in addition, you can further beat that by using nitrous in fourth and also by launching properly. Don't forget, one of the things about the LB Aventador is you have to launch it late. You cannot launch on perfect, and you can't launch early. Both will kill your uh, performance in the beginning. So what you're going to do is you're going to launch late, and then shift right to second, fourth, and you're done. Okay, so it'll top out at 100 miles per hour in fourth. It'll go to 7th, and let's take a look at that 0 to 100 time. Now, there are no 0 to 60 challenges to worry about, but you're already down to a 2.405. That's pretty good, considering that you're starting off with a dyno of 2.5. You're actually beating dyno at the 0 to 100, so the car is doing good. And then you just set it back to that while you're running it for the races. And it beats dyno there, too, running 9.7s. So... Nothing to complain about, really, for this car for Tempest 3 Tier 5. Let's start moving to the higher performance points. You need to then have a cutoff of around 692, and that lowers the 0 to 100 to 2.560, and the top speed to like a 235. We don't care about the top speed. We're going to destroy that no matter what, because it's a half mile speed, not even a quarter mile speed. So 0 to 100, let's just start putting stages back, and, you know, again, I... I I can put trans back, that'll bump it right up, and then you may be able to get away with that stage of tire, and that puts you right at 692. Now, once you put more tire in, and tire doesn't really, I have to say it, it's not all that critical to a fast 0 to 100 time, unlike some other cars. So that lowers it right to 2.584 without tuning from a 2.8, and with tuning, you're now lowering it to a much lower time of 2.328. I can tell you the hardest challenge for 0 to 60, I mean 0 to 60, I keep wanting to say that. 0 to 100 in the entire uh, Tempest 3 Tier 5 is a 2.313 at 707 pp limit. You are now going to beat that at 692 with, you know, mostly stage 5s, no stage 6s. Ta-da! I love this car because it actually does 0 to 100 pretty well. Sure, it's no, you know, um, instant car. Whoops, what did I just do? Ah, whatever. 
I, I still did fine there. So it's not one of those instant acceleration cars that's going to, you know, destroy the 0 to 60 and 0 to 100 with like a 0 0.02 or something. But you're not going to get a terrible run out of this. You're certainly going to beat the 2.56. And just because I screwed up, I'm going to do another run and show you that it can actually probably get under that 2.313. So at this point, you're already looking at a car that's going to basically finish all major challenges as far as speed traps and the um, sprints are concerned. Now, you're not going to beat the final time, obviously. That you do need stage sixes, but I'm going to still run through the other uh, performance point limit setups like 699 and others, 2.198. As you can see, 0 to 100 on this car is not weak at all. It's actually quite decent. Sure, it's no McLaren F1, but it's quite decent for a, quote, tire spinner. All right, now, so that is just 692, and we haven't even used all stage 5 yet. Once you put the next stage 5 in, you're now up to 697. And the next cutoff is 699, but you only need to hit a 2.342, 0 to 60. Again, I failed there. 0 to 100, there are no 0 to 60s in Tempest 3 Tier 5. Come on, Max, remember what you're trying to talk about here. 2.342 is our challenge here. I left the tune. I dyno. We're already in 2.2. I don't even need to show you. It's going to beat that. Oh, yo, mile per hour, man, mile per hour. Okay, let me show you. Here, do this. Mile per hour is now 369. I think you can do it. Not only that, without any stage six, we're already really, really close to actually being able to beat Harkness because this car beats Dino. Okay, so I'm not even using any stage sixes yet. I am already cutting it right onto the edge there. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we can do here. I have my own shift pattern thing but basically it's not going to be I don't know I don't remember it's something like skip to three or four in nitrous or skip to five in nitrous and you'll get uh, possibly your best run that's a 9.239 not as much under as I would like um, look up the ship pattern for a fully max car use that pattern I believe again it's uh, skipping first second a little bit into third, maybe all the way to fourth, and then fifth nitrous or something along those lines. That will get you very close to 9.2s, 9.1s, and that's almost enough to beat them, but you don't want to do that. You want to give yourself that extra margin to be sure you're going to win that Sesto Elemento because you don't want to lose out on that card. Now, for that, I would suggest adding a Stage 6. Now, once you get past 699, the next upgrade level limit is 707, then it goes to fully maxed. 707 has a challenge that is 2.313, 0 to 100, 250 mile per hour. I've already shown you a 2.2 run at 692, so you definitely can do it. You shouldn't have to worry about that. But what stage sixes can push us over the limit here as far as getting into the eights? Pretty much most of these, I think, that I have are pretty close to it, maybe not turbo. But let's say we throw engine in and that only pushes up a little bit to 698. It doesn't even hit 700 um, performance points. But let's take a look at the dyno here, 9.077. Now, 9.077, you can definitely, definitely um, beat that number if you run it just right. Let's see if we can put a little... All right, let's not go too aggressive here. We want to still have that 1902... Okay, so 1901, 1902. Okay, now I'm, now I'm going the wrong way. Let's go up a little bit. Come on, okay. All right, so we're going to run it off of this and see if I can get an 8.9 run. If I get an 8.9 run, I'm done, right? I can beat Harkness. I can finish the rest of the challenges. Surprisingly, uh, Foley Max Challenge, the 0 to uh, 100 challenge is actually slower. So I don't know why, but that means it's easier to still win. Okay, four, five, six, seven, and we just did 8.8. .8. Harknex goes down, sets the elemento in the garage, and we're done. Now, I didn't even show you uh, really 707 or 717 because you don't need it. You don't actually have to even come close to that performance point with this car to finish up. 
Okay. Again, I love this car because of that. It's a it's a high Evo car, low performance point, uh, great in live, beats Dino everywhere, runs a nice zero to one hundred. Very good car for Tempest. So don't don't let people tell you that oh yeah that car can't do zero to one hundreds. It can. It's just not as good as say uh, you know the Huracan, which can do like zero to sixty and zero point zero five or something ridiculous. But on the other hand, the Huracan struggles with the top speed a little bit so you have to actually tune that to even hit 260 mile per hour versus this car doing 300 plus by that point so again i like the lb aventador coupe i highly recommend it for tempest 3 tier 5 if you have one and guess what right now you can buy it for gold so go get it build it lamborghini fusions are not that hard to get go to the dealership buy huracans strip them over and over again Fusions, voila. Okay, all right. So again, I'm not showing you the uh, final two challenges, but I am going to one more time demonstrate to you the way to get that crazy zero to 100, which is right here. And we're looking at a 2.142 on the dyno. And I am going to try to beat that. So I may be able to get a 1.9 something, hopefully, or at least a 2.0 run out of this car from a zero to 100 standpoint. So once again, let's do it. Again, launch late. And you're done. Okay, and that's not even tuned perfectly either. However, all this being said, fusions, fusions, fusions. Okay, do not lock in a car. See, 2.0, I didn't quite hit 1.9, so, but 2.031. Um, again, with any car you're gonna lock in for Tempest, do not lock in a car you do not have fusions for, or you're missing half of them, or missing a third of them. If you can't get the fusions otherwise, and you can't, and you don't have them, don't lock in the car. Pick a different car. And that is the uh, complete uh, tune and setting and upgrade settings and how to do the 0100 for the LB Aventador Coupe. Once again, one of my favorite cars in the game. I love this car all around. I hope you will find it to be just as good as I have found it. And if you like it, let me know. If you don't like the car and you struggle with it, let me know and maybe I can help you out. Feel free to make comments. If you like the video, leave a like. And if you like my channel, subscribe so you can get notifications. As always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.